Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the what is the cognitive search or we can say what is the Azure AI search, we have seen what are the key features and what are the uses of using this cognitive search. In this video, we will see how to create that cognitive search on the Azure portal. So to implement or to see this cognitive search on the Azure portal, first what we have to do, we should have the account on Azure portal. So you can go on the Azure portal and you, you have to give your uh, payment information like credit card or something else. And then what you can do, you can create your account on this. And once you will get, uh, get your account on Azure portal, uh, like then you can go with the cognitive search. Now, the thing with the cognitive search is free. Some like some information is free and some part uh, of this is basically paid. Now, if you are using free version of this cognitive search, then within the 90 days, like if you are not using, if it your cognitive uh, search or account is inactive, then it is basically like uh, it will be uh, like inactivated within the 90 days. So that is the uh, key things uh, with respect to the cognitive search if you are going with the free version of this. So let's understand like how we can create this cognitive search or Azure AI search on the Azure portal. So the thing is like we know this uh, Azure AI search work on the data. Now to work or to create this cognitive search first what we need, we need the data or the data source. So data source can be anything like it can be any data uh, database or cognitive search, sorry, uh, this uh, Cosmos DB or any other data like file or PDF doc. If you are going to uh, work or going to, uh, you, if you want a data source as a files, as in queue or some like as in PDF you want to search, then that data source is available on the storage account. So uh, in under first, what we have to do, we have to create the storage account. Inside that storage account, what we need, we need the blog and under that blog, what we can do, we can use any files and through that we can search our uh, required data. So in this uh, video, what we are going to do, we are going to use data source as in blog. So for that one, first, what we need, we need the storage account. So first you will uh, go on that uh, storage account here. You can see like if uh, there is any existing, uh, like you can see here. So to create the storage account, you have to click on create. Once you will uh, click on this create, it will take this and here you have to give a subscription. You have to use your resource. So uh, like a resource and a, a subscription already is created here. Now here you have to use the storage account. Now storage account, like whatever the name we are going to give here, everything will be in the small letter. So storage account, I'm going to give as in .NET office uh, storage, storage ACC. So that we are going to use here and then reason and everything you can keep it as like uh, is given now click on the next and here it is will ask a couple of the things but you can keep say as it is click on networking and we are going to use the network as an enable public access for all the network we are going to use and you can keep everything uh, from here as well and then tag if you want to give here it is asking like what kind of the stories you want to use as in data so i'm currently giving as in blog and file only and we know like under the stories account we have other type of the service like blog file table and queue so we can select this if in your uh, like a data source want uh, like come under on these things so currently i'm just selecting this blob here only and click on tab and then review and here like it will ask uh, other things uh, like you can verify from here like everything is fine and here you can see it is it was running the validation if everything looks good to you you can click on the create so once uh, you will click on the create it will take few seconds to implement uh, and it will create the resource for you so it take couple of the second to create that uh, resource and once it will create what will be happen like it will say deployment completed and you can go to that particular resource and once this storage account will be created like uh, you can see currently deployment is in progress so once this deployment will complete it what we can do like we can go to this storage account and from there what we can do we can create the 
container and the meaning of the container is basically like we are going to create the blog and we are going to upload the file there so it will take few seconds so let's wait uh, to complete or to create this storage account so we can see here our deployment is completed and let's go to the resource and once you will come here you can see this is the overview and everything and here if you will scroll down you can see the data storage what kind of the data storage we want so we are going with the blob storage so we have to click on the container once you will click on the container you can create your container what kind of the container you want i am just writing the files so this is the container i want let's click on the create so once you will click on the create it will create this folder and under this folder you can upload uh, your file so here like you can browse and you can upload your file so here i have uploaded like i'm going to upload it one file called microsoft azure so this is the pdf which i've downloaded from internet from the microsoft site and this i'm going to upload so once i'll click on this one what it, it will do it will like there are a couple of the mbs here it will upload that file here so you can see like this file is totally uploaded on this here you can see like we have uploaded this file uh, on the blog and we can see like here if you will go on the container there is a one file which contain this data so now at point of this time what we have done we have created our blog uh, under the storage account so in the next video what we will see like we will create the ai uh, like this search or we can say the cognitive search and there we will see once we create that uh, service how we can utilize this data so so that's it for this video uh, if you have any question and doubt please comment and please like and subscribe uh, to this video thank you